Vauxhall Astra driver's side ABS sensor faulty. So we've got a new hub and we're going to try and change it over. So when we start the car. ABS light is just staying on all the time. This is what you get in the box. Some new bolts, dust cap. And a complete assembly. That's so how you get the ABS sensors already attached to this hub unit. Bolts in from the back. So let's see how difficult it is to get it out. So just raise the vehicle, jacking up on the subframe underneath. Pop the little plastic caps off the nuts. Whiz the nuts off and remove the wheel. You can now see the ABS wire runs up the back behind the hub. That's the connector that we're going to take off. It also runs through round the back behind the strut and into a second connector which can have corrosion. Using a screwdriver just press the tab, lift the connector plug, you push the black part sideways and then pull down and it's a bit tricky but it does come apart. So at this point it was a perfect opportunity to connect the new hub to the wiring to see when I put the ignition on if the light would go out just to make sure that the sensor was at fault and not the wiring to the sensor. It's always easier if you have got a code reader you can delete the original fault off. You would also have known which wheel is at fault by the code that you've, you've got out the machine. But once we've connected this new hub up we can turn it by hand and also pick up a reading to see if it is all connecting through and you know that everything is absolutely perfect before you've gone to all the trouble of fitting it. So first things first we've got to get this brake caliper out of the way so we don't need to strip it completely just remove the two 19 millimeter nuts behind and pull the whole cradle off. These nuts can be really tight. I've used a big bar to crack them off and then just whiz them out with the air gun. So once they're out, a quick check of the threads, everything's good. Pull the caliper side to side to push the piston back and away it comes. Just release the ABS clip from the brake pipe. Took the caliper away a minute. Now what we've got to do is get the, the hose, just release it from the strut there. You've got to pull the clip off, which I couldn't quite get on camera, and then just release the, the brake hose so that's tucked away. Gives you a lot more space. Remove the centre nut for the drive shaft. If you've not got an air gun, then you'd have to release this while the vehicle's still on the floor. Sometimes what you get, these drive shafts corrode really badly. And as they rotate, they just carve through the wire underneath there, because it's such a close fit. So these are E18. Oh, that's going to be close. That's going to be really close.
disc off so pop the bolt out. And there we have it. This is what's got to come out. Let's see how tight it is. One skanky old sensor. Now, if you can see in there, so I've just took that off, there's a chunk of rust floating around inside there. And I'll say that's what's been upsetting it all. So, we've got to clean all this area up, get rid of this rust. Shiny new bolt. Back plate. Beautiful. So I'll slot that in, get the wire up to the top. Connect it through. Slide that drive shaft into place. New castle nuts put on the end of the drive shaft. And I'm going to sort this ABS wiring and get that caliber back in. So, this ABS plug, you put the plug through the plastic, the black plastic thing first. So, you get that through there. Then, you slide the plug into the, the wiring on the car. Push that all the way home as far as it go, and you slide the black connector over the top of that. Push across to the left, make sure that's all locked in. Push the tab up, and it's there. All locked in. And that goes around the back of that. Slides down. Locks into place. Make sure the wire doesn't touch the drive shaft. Pop the brake disc back on again with its little retaining screw. Whip that up. 
just turn the steering slightly, brake caliper back out again, slide that back on, refit the brake hose, pop the bolts in, nip them up. We can whack these bolts up nice and tight on the caliper mounting. Refit the retaining clip on the brake hose, that's what I couldn't film on the first bit. But you just pull that off and that's putting it back on again. Brake pipe all back in, calipers up tight, drive shafts up tight, bolts are all in. On this new one you get a nice little dust cap, which we can stick on there as well. Yeah. I feel sorry for the bloke who's got to get that off again. <laughs> probably be, be me. Uh, right. All closer inspection of this bearing. You can see this here is it's kind of melted. So this is your ABS sensor and the sensor ring that goes around the outside of the hub. And it's on every point here, it's kind of it looks like it's got hot and something's uh, something's gone a bit weird in here. It's like the, either the grease has amalgamated and congealed and has affected the sensor in some way. But uh, all I know is it definitely shouldn't look like that and it's working now with the new one so happy days. Mm.